Today we're going to talk about how to fix an unresponsive iPhone screen. So basically this means you are trying to touch the screen and nothing's working. It's just ignoring you. Now there's different types of this. Sometimes you'll touch it and it'll move a little and then other times you touch it and it doesn't do anything. So we'll kind of go over both of these and see if we can get this fixed. It's not 100% fixed because sometimes it can be a hardware related issue, which I'll go into more detail then to kind of explain both. If there's a way to fix it, we should get this working. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new and you like iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, or if you just have iPhone issues from time to time, <laughs> do me a favor, smack that subscribe button. We would love you to join us. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in. So there are a few things that we need to do to make sure it is working. So the first thing which is very popular that you wanna do is make sure your screen is okay. So to do this, you wanna make sure if you have some sticky protector, you try taking that off, you clean your screen, and also make sure you don't have a case that's pushing down too hard on the screen. Nowadays, everyone in the world is making cases and there are so many to choose from, so I'm sure there's lots of defective ones out there. So just be careful that that's not the case. The best thing I would say is remove everything, clean it, keep the case off until you get this working again. All right, so that didn't work. So next thing it could be is it could be an app on your phone and it might be freezing your phone. It's not actually freezing the screen, it's freezing the whole phone. So usually going through and deleting and adding that app back can fix that for you or just deleting and leaving it off. I know what you're saying, my screen doesn't work. How am I supposed to delete it? Well, I'm gonna go over that with you. <laughs> so to get your screen to work for now, what we need to do is restart the phone. And there are different ways to do it depending on which phone you have. So if you have an iPhone 6 or lower, you want to hold the home button and the power button down. Now it might pop up and say slide to turn off. That doesn't matter. Just ignore it. Continue to hold the buttons down. A lot of people don't mention this, but as you continue to hold these buttons down, it's going to go past that and it's going to force restart the phone, probably fixing your issue right there. So if you have an iPhone 7, it's instead of those buttons, it's gonna be the power button and the volume down button. Just hold those down. And again, you're basically waiting till you see the Apple to let go. So if you see the slide to power down, keep holding, you're almost there. Then it'll go black. After that, keep holding, and then you should see the white logo, and then you can let go. Now above that, iPhone 8 and up, it is a little different. Basically, you have to press the volume up, then press the volume down, and then hold the power button. This will let the phone know that it is frozen and it needs to restart. Now, if your phone is just frozen and it's not your screen, this should fix it. No problem, it'll clear up the fix because it's kind of like a computer. This is rebooting it. So now, when it comes back up, see if it's responding better. If it is responding better, great, you probably fixed your problem. If it happens again, I would do the exact same steps you did to fix it just now. If there's any apps you just recently updated or downloaded that you can think of that might be causing a problem, I would remove those and see if that helps. If it is a screen, it might be just in one place you can't touch or it could be multiple places. If it's just in one place, most likely the phone is damaged and you're gonna have to have it repaired. If it's everywhere, it could be a software issue. Most of the time it's a software issue because Apple's hardware is really good. But if you know you just dropped your phone really hard on cement and all of a sudden this started, you're probably gonna need to get some repair work in. But before we do that, let's give everything a try and see what else we can figure out. So if it keeps happening, the next thing you would do is delete your phone. Yeah, you'd wanna delete it. So first you'd wanna back everything up though. Make sure you're backing everything up in the cloud. Uh, if you go in the settings, I'll go through and show you how to reset it. I have a video on how to back things up. I'll go ahead and post it at the top. So before you go through these steps, make sure you do that. Then you go into general, and then you would go down to reset. And then you would go ahead and choose Erase all content and settings. Now this is gonna delete everything. So again, make sure you follow that other video and backed up everything first. Again, if your screen's frozen and you can't get to these steps, try the reboot. Sometimes it takes more than one 
and once you can get to these screens you'd want to do this after you back up your info. Before you try the all content and settings you could always just try reset all settings. It's not as an invasive as a delete it just deletes your settings. So you have to set some things up but a lot of times it could even be the settings that's causing the freezing if it is freezing and it's not the screen. After that you should be all set one way or another. You should have an idea if it is an issue with the screen these steps wouldn't have worked or the issue would have kept coming back. If you're rebooting the phone and you can't even put your passcode in because the screen's not working, then your screen's probably failed. And at that point, they're going to have to open up the iPhone to do some work. And in that case, I would schedule an appointment with Apple if your phone's still under warranty or a shop if not. Sometimes it might even be the screen that's fine. And if you have an older phone, the home button might be an issue. So at the end of this video, I'll link a video to take you to fix the home button if that is the problem. But hopefully this took care of it for you. Thank you so much for the view. If you have any questions, please leave them down below.